Hello, this is Jules here, and today's summer solstice, and we're in Scarborough, residence and birthplace of lots of famous people from Ben Kingsley and Alan Aikbourne, Fred Truman, Robert Palmer, and the band that we've come here to visit today, Love Day Fools. We're here with Ben, Michael, and Aaron. <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. Hello there. Briefly, you want to just tell us what you do in the band? I'm the uh, bass player. Right. That's what I do. Yeah. Ben? I'm the singer and joint songwriter and yeah. guitarist. Yeah. Uh, I sing a couple of songs, write a few, and I play lead. Right. What's, uh, what's the best thing about living in a place like this? The best think? thing about Scarborough? Mm. Ice cream. Chips. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How much of that ambience do you think comes into your songwriting? Do you think you are influenced by the, the sort of environment that you've sort of grown up and lived in? And can be, yeah. Some of them, um, I think a lot of bands that I'm into as well mm. are sort of from seaside towns. That's as a well. coastal result, yeah, yeah. And I think um, there's a couple who have not sort of recorded it. They're more like sort of sea shanties, maybe. There's a couple right. of you know, in yeah. And it's, yeah, it's definitely something. Um, there's quite a mood around it, you know. So it, it does. It comes through, I think, you know. Yeah. There's like there's an atmosphere. You try and hide it. Yeah, the, the CD that you sent over to me, you mentioned that it was recorded on sort of primitive equipment, but I think yeah, that's often the, the sound quality that you get from a lot of those vintage recordings. Yeah, that, that I think that brings an extra dimension to what you're doing. Again, is that, was that organic, the way you, you did that? I you didn't sort of with, with save up and go to a modern studio and get that no, glossy man, sound, or you just thought, just do it, just I mean, make I've good always, music. I've always been banging to like collecting guitars and pedals. and yeah. I mean, you've, they used to have seen my room, there's just all junk everywhere, like yeah. Hammond organs, stuff like that. Yeah. I like things with buttons and sliders and things you can control Sort of manually. old school analog yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the only, the only yeah. thing we've got, we've got like a digital force rack recorder. Right. And an old computer, but we're not sort of Pro Tools or no. anything like that. No. Just like old, you know, I like old things that are a bit rusty and sound a bit broken and yeah. a bit knackered, you know what I mean? I like it, that sort of thing. Yeah, you know. absolutely. So what about the actual content of the songs and what, how, how has that sort of come about? Because it's sort of, it's, it's, you know, a lot of modern songs rely on a lot of repetition and hook lines. Oh. Yours are actually t telling little stories. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're very sort of narrative. You know, is that is that a long process? Is it something you do six o'clock in the morning on a Saturday? Yeah, as it's, no, it, yeah, I, I read somewhere. Yeah, like, um, my missus used to go to work. Um, she still she still does actually. She's off sick at the minute. But I mean, when yeah. she goes to work, it's sort of um, she gets up real early, sort of half five in the morning. Yeah, I'd like to go back to sleep with the seagulls and stuff outside my room. So I get my guitar and sit down on that. And I don't know. There's something about when you're in that little state between sort of. Been asleep and awake. Is it, yeah. Things sort of Very to contemplative. Yeah, you can, you can <laughs> no, it's it But yeah. I mean, I've got songs that have taken me sort of four years to complete. And right. I won't let them go until you know. This is like one little line. If it's, it's, bug right. if it's bugging me and stuff, I won't, yeah. I won't give it out. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. So you, so you work really hard at crafting stuff. I can do it. Yeah. It's not, it doesn't really come naturally. It's quite a struggle sometimes. But. Yeah. How about the practice regime though? Now, I mean, you sort of you haven't done too many gigs yet, but are you sort of many gigs? All we've only been together sort of. Um, well, four months, me and Mickey. Yeah, yeah. less than that. Aaron joined about three months ago, and we got right. the drummer sort of three weeks ago. Yeah. Right, the last few weeks. We've got gigs lined up and stuff, but we're sure. doing um, sort of like two, two or three practices a week, yeah. trying to get in. You know, to, yeah, you've got the Vivas gig, haven't you? Coming up to the uh, yeah. when's that? Second of July, that one. When is That's, it? Uh, the first of July. July. On a Friday. You're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're on. It's going to be mega or something. Yeah. So I mean the, um, the the sort of live set, I, I think, would that become as a very natural extension of what you're doing? I mean, would you feel yeah. that you when you're practicing, do you work on it being a live show type yeah, thing? Yeah, we play yeah. sort of. Um, we've got the, the set list, set of tapes on the floor. Right. And we don't do stage band or anything in between, but if there's um, maybe like a couple of songs that are going to link in together, right, we'll just play it as one, you know, and just. Um, just take it all the way through as, as if we were playing to an audience, you know. And right. We've catered the songs to a live show as well. They're a bit more electric than they are. A bit more upbeat and that for A bit for faster live, as well, yeah. yeah. Right. You also, you also managed to uh, get a spot on, on the BBC as well, haven't you? Coming up, yeah, that, that's yeah. the one that's on 2nd of July, isn't it? That's just, yeah, we're yeah. recording on the 2nd, yes. Yeah, like so week they got you in to do like an unplugged type thing? No, it's a full live session. Is it? Fantastic. Full electric session as far as I'm aware. Yeah. yeah. At least that's for the second all that stuff, that's... so they're going to they're gonna have to let us play. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no two ways. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that a lot, you know, it's, it's a yeah. big thing for me. That... Four tracks in it, three of ours in a cover. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. So this afternoon you've been uh, you've been doing a video for uh, a track that's off off uh, the CD that you've done. Any reason why you chose that particular track to make a video? Um, of? It's the best produced song. Right. It's um, it all all the sounds are 
quite crisp and yeah. you know, quite easy to distinguish. So. Yeah, it's the one I picked out to play on the show. It certainly yeah. has a, a nice feel to it. Does that? The, 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 like the it, vocals yeah. work really well on that. I think. How do you think the video went this afternoon? Then you think that's oh, you pleased with that? Well, yeah. Enjoyable, yeah. Right, yeah. We've got a few more little bits to drop in here and there, but I yeah, think just the, some cutaways. Sort of the main stuff, framework of the videos right. has been done. It's gone pretty well. I expected it to be boring, to be honest. Before, oh, and I thought it was going to be a lot of repetition, but no, it was good. Really, really enjoyed, really enjoyed it. You're getting, getting a taste for fame. Well, yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> I won't say no. I won't yeah. say do no. Do it again. That'd be cool. Do it again. That's it. Yeah. Are you going to invite Miss Love Day Folds along to your to your first yeah, big gig? Yeah, everyone, everyone, everyone can get through the door, you know. So Incidentally, if people don't realise there is a bit of a story behind your name, which, yeah. which I've heard about, but you could you could tell people who don't know because it's it. quite um, funny. I was working at a call centre <laughs> for a well-known. Uh, what's it called? Double glazing manufacturer. Uh, yeah. we, have to, we have to ring the general public. Yes. I've got a, a good friend called Sid. He's a bit barmy. He was ringing this this old dear call. Mrs. Love Their Fools. Yeah. And as soon as he said it, I was like, I'm having that as a band name. And he was like, Oh, it's a bit indie. It's a bit bit Creation Records, 1980s. I was like, Exactly. Perfect. Like, there you yeah. go. But yeah. he's still good for it now. But that's how it came along. So yeah, if she's listening. Yeah. By all means. Get in touch. You could be yeah. good. Good photo for the first CD exactly. cover. The whole oh, yeah. Yeah. family are welcome down there. Absolutely. You know, that's Absolutely. That's a tribute. Yeah, man, for sure. Get them along. <laughs> If people want to get in touch with you, what's your MySpace? It's myspace.com forward slash love their fools, all one word. And it's not the. No, no, there's no, there's just no, love there's no, the, there's <laughs> yeah, apparently we're no, against the, the, the there's, yeah. no, there's, 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 there's no, there's no, there's no, we don't like this. It's been a real pleasure talking to you guys, thanks for sparing the time, and, you. And, uh, great. and every success in the coming months with all these various projects. Thank you very much, well, thank you. Cheers, thank, thank you. you. Cheers,